The remains of late Alaji Latif Jakondi, first civilian governor of Lagos State, who died on Thursday, have been laid to rest at the Walton Garden Cemetery in Ikoyi, according to Islamic rites. Leading the Lagos State government delegation to the funeral was Governor Babajide Sonwulu, accompanied by his deputy, Obafemi Amzad, and other members of the State Executive Council. The burial was preceded by Islamic prayers at his residence in Lukweju where yes, several Islamic clerics took turns to offer long prayers for the eternal repose of his soul. Dignitaries, family and associates pay glowing tribute and extol his achievements. It's an example of what a human being we should all aspire to be. A great man, humble, humility, service, dedication, loyalty. So it's, it's an embodiment of all the positives. I know that as a human being, you can't be totally positive, but all we saw service to the people and he did everything within his ability to achieve that, the service to humanity. So I see him as, as in his life well spent and he lived his life to the very last for yes, social distance. As a matter of fact, a day before his death, which was uh, on um, th rest, uh, th Thursday, on Wednesday, uh, he validated his membership card of the Up Progressive Congress. So, service to humanity never, I mean, left, left his mind. He's a general loss to everybody, personally to the children. He's gone. We still don't believe he's gone. Since he's still right here sleeping, we believe he's still sleeping. And uh, we only hope and pray that the guidance he has given to us will continue to abide in us. And I'm sure we would always remember him for good. If I have 20 million opportunities to come back to this world, I will still choose him as my father. It's been wonderful. It has taught us to be contented. And uh, we have a bond. The family has a bond together. And we hope that, you know, by the grace of God, we will continue to maintain the bond. We thank God for his life. We thank God for his political sagacity. We thank God for his mentorship. Because he mentored so many people. And I don't count myself lucky. And those that had the opportunity to work directly with him. In my official capacity as a police officer, and this one as an adopted son to the family. Those in government, you are, I'm in government, so the advice is that we should always think of life after office. So when we leave office now, what do you want? How do you want people to relate to us after we leave office? How do you want to relate to people? This was the man that, despite the opportunity he had to lead the government, his own. Hmm, Self-discipline 
made him not to even live in his personal house. He lived in the personal house as the governor of Lagos State. And oh, length and breadth of Lagos State, you've seen so many jack on the house, jack on the house, for the masses. He lived his life with the masses. So my play, my advice to myself too, because I'm in government, and those in government is that we should treat people that have opportunity to meet, they will want us to be treated once we leave the government service. I like Jack to try the best day to uplift AUJ, like any of journalists, especially the Lagos Council, by donating the land, the wide expanse of land like Victoria Island, which today houses our head of the lighthouse, even though I even though in the last few hours we have changed the name of that building to Latif Jack on the House. And uh, Latif Jack on the was the first final governor of the Gossip, if you remember. And uh, he made so many, made so many firsts, performed so many things that are very wonderful and won the hands of the Gossiers. He, he restructured the educational system of the state, he restructured the housing system of the state, he built so many estates, he built so many schools, which are until today. Of the today, very solid. I like Jack Onde will be remembered for his humanitarian gestures. Jack Onde, a former journalist, was Lagos State Governor from 1979 to 1983 and later served as Minister of Works under the military government of General Sani Abacha. His administration as Lagos State Governor left a legacy of massive infrastructure development, especially through numerous Jack Onde estates built across the state as well as a sterling investment in education.